Hey guys, <coughs> welcome to the RevitKid.com. So today I'm going to show you a little bit of the beginning of how to create an adjustable curtain wall door. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our first floor plan and we're going to create a curtain wall. So under wall, I'm going to pull down. I'm going to create a curtain wall or storefront, doesn't really matter. I'm going to use storefront because it has mullions. Now in 3D, you can see here's our curtain wall. Now what I want to do is I want to add a curtain wall door to this, single curtain wall door. I'm not sure if it's loaded in the family, so I'm going to select it using tab, pull it down. It doesn't look like it's loaded in the family. So now what we're going to do is we're going to load the door. So under insert, we're going to click load family. Under doors, there's going to be curtain wall single glass. Click open. Now what we want to do is I'm going to delete the mullion so that we have a bottom to our door. And I'm going to tab select the curtain wall panel, unpin it, and on the left hand side I'm going to click my curtain wall door. So now you see we have our curtain wall door here. If I go on the floor plan, here's our curtain wall door that we just added. You can see it does a couple things. It'll flip, it'll flip, and it'll also adjust depending on the size of it but it does not have a angle parameter. So I'm going to show you one way to create a, a door that can have adjustable angle. So first I'm going to select the door and I'm going to click edit family. Now I'm in the curtain wall door family. <clears throat> Under views I'm going to get to the first floor plan and you can see here's our family. The first thing you want to do is create a family outside of the curtain wall family and nest it in. This way you have parameters that will adjust and not be affected by certain other parameters. It's a little confusing, but once I go through the, the series of tutorials, you'll understand it. So first I'm going to do is delete these symbolic lines. Then I'm going to create a new family. And I'm just going to use a generic model. Open. Now all I'm going to do is create those, those symbols again. So first what I want to do is create a reference plane. RP for reference plane. Let's just make it three feet. So we have these reference planes now, and I'm going to dimension them using DI for dimension. Create them equal so they adjust, and then create a dimension for our width. Now we're gonna we're gonna talk about the parameters in the next tutorial, so I won't add those yet. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my symbolic lines. So I'm gonna go under annotate. I'm going to go to symbolic lines. There's a couple different options here. We're going to do generic models cut. We're going to make this a three foot line. It's actually a little hard to tell there. Let me pull the uh, scale up a little bit so you can see it. You can see the line there now. And then I'm just going to make my my door swing line. So under symbolic, annotated, symbolic. We're going to do hidden lines projection or generic models projection. Doesn't really make a difference. I'm going to use generic models projection. Now I like to use the start center end, I mean center ends arc. So if you click here, you actually click the beginning of the arc, click the end, and then click the end. Now we're going to push and pull this parameter to see how it works. And you can see it's already locked, it's already working well. So that's good. So now what I want to do is before I before I add any parameters, I'm just going to show you how this loads back into the into the family. So now I'm going to save this as I'm going to save it as curtain wall oops curtain wall door swing. Save that. Load this into our curtain wall family. And now you can see here's our curtain wall. I mean here's our door, and you can just click it here. Now in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add parameters to this and how to stretch them. And then in the final tutorial, I'm going to show you shared parameters, how to make that door adjustable. So stay tuned for more, and look forward to talking to you guys later.